Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on data entry keyboard shortcuts in Excel. Oftentimes in counseling research, we want to accomplish tasks with data as efficiently as possible. And some of these keyboard shortcuts related to data entry can work toward that goal. So let's start with the setup I have here. I have fictitious data here to the left with several variables. And then I have some keyboard shortcuts here to the right. So let's start with function two. So if we go into a cell and use the F2 key, that allows us to edit the value in the cell. Another common way is to simply double click on the cell. Now shift F2 will allow you to insert a comment. So hold down shift, press F2, and you can see now I could put a comment in. So I'll go ahead and delete this comment just by moving onto the border there and pressing delete. And then we have the shift and left and right arrow and control and left and right arrow. So these are separate shortcuts, right? So there's shift and left arrow, that's one shortcut, then shift and right arrow and then control and left arrow and then control and right arrow. So for this example, to show you these two shortcuts, I'm going to change an emission date here, the one I have here, to the string date unknown. So I'm going to press F2 to edit this and you can see that the cursor appears at the rightmost point after the N and unknown after the third N in unknown, right at the end of the word. And we can look at shift left arrow. So we can see it selects one character at a time. So I'll move it back right arrow to move back to the right of the N. And control left arrow moves a word at a time. And right arrow, of course, brings us back. If we want to select and not move, that would be control shift left arrow and right arrow. And if we want to select to the beginning of the cell, it would be shift home. And to select to the end of the cell would be shift end. So if I were to move the cursor over here, shift end. So for this cell, say I just want to leave it as date unknown and I don't want to move any particular direction when I'm done entering this string. For that, I would use control enter. So control enter and the selected range stays the same. I stay in the same cell. If I hit enter, it's going to advance one row down. Shift enter will advance one row up. So I enter data, and hit shift enter, it will advance one row up. From the same position, tab, so if I enter data, hit tab, it will move one column to the right, and shift tab will move one column to the left for each time I hit shift tab. The most common way to enter data is down the column. It, it, variables are in columns and participants are in rows. So the enter key would be the most common, but you can actually go in all the directions using these keyboard shortcuts. And you can see I'm in admission date. So say I wanted to make the admission date today. There's a shortcut for that. It's control semicolon. Control semicolon and today's date is entered into the cell. Now instead of admission date, say we want to have a time, it would be control shift colon. Now the colon and the semicolon are on the same key, but since you're hitting shift, we say it's control shift colon and control semicolon. So if I wanted the time here, it would be control shift 
colon, you see it's 12.16 a.m. And that brings us to Alt-Enter. And what this allows us to do is to create a new line in the same cell. So say I went here to Final Exam, went to 50, and I'll go in and edit it, F2, and I click Alt, Enter. It gives me a new line. So I could type another value in, say, uh, 55. And then hit Alt, Enter again, and I could put 60. So these values are in different lines in the same cell. So I say press Enter. You can see it has to expand to fit them all in. And if I use Control shift u I can expand the formula bar. And you can see all the values are there. This is a valuable shortcut because there are some instances where we want to have more than one value in the same cell in different lines. But for the most part, I wouldn't recommend entering data in this fashion. We would mostly see this in cells that we don't want to analyze. For example, a variable name. But even there, uh, when importing it, that could create a problem. So even though that's a useful shortcut, uh, I would be cautious in how often I use that particular method. And again, to undo this, Control Z. And to collapse the formula bar, be Control Shift U again. And now we have the data restored to how it was in the beginning. I hope you found this video on data entry keyboard shortcuts in Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.